it's good to have you back with me again and uh, now we're going to take a look at role understanding and how that works within the Tukma model and I think it's pretty important isn't it if we've got people here we might as well be pretty sure that they understand why they're here and what we want them to do so let's take a look at how this fits within a model thanks again I ask you to think about this in context with everything else we've talked about as the model develops so at the forming stage you know people just don't know what their role is and there's going to be a lot of insecurity around that and I want you to think about everything else that has happened at this forming stage and how that could actually be pretty destructive if we let it run too long so what do we need to do we need to bring it from forming to storming I think with some reasonable pace and we have some ambiguity presence now at a personal level and from experience I don't think ambiguity is necessarily a bad thing the idea that we can carry two ideas in our head at once shouldn't be beyond us and what I think is really important for us to do in a leadership role or a facility role is to let that ambiguity run for a while so that we're in a place where we can sort out for ourselves what it is we're really looking at what it is we're really seeing just take a look at the penguins now I mean they're all having a really good go but boy, <laughs> how, how far off can you get um, so we need to understand what it is we are really here for we need to do and then that moves us through to the next stage to norming where there is some clarity about our purpose our expectations of ourselves our expectations of others but I think again m most importantly how can we manage what it is that other people think about us and without clarity we're, we're going to be a little bit stuck there aren't we so clarity emerges from ambiguity and we can revisit that circle every now and again we can track back on that and just you know uh, is this still the same as it was that shouldn't ever stop us moving on to that performing stage where intuitively we know what our role is we are aware of its potential we're aware of its boundaries we're aware of the soft boundaries and we're also aware of the constraints so at the performing stage now again can you get the feeling that is very much in flow maybe new information comes in maybe there are new challenges that come from certain um, aspects that we hadn't maybe anticipated and just for that bit we go back maybe to a storming stage there's some ambiguity presence okay what do we need to do we need to clarify so we can then feed that performing place where you know if you if you think about this again with every everything else we've done that performing place is a place of quite comfortable flow of high levels of trust of high levels of intuitive exchanges of information and clarity of purpose so a lot of it seems pretty straightforward to me um, do our teams do we get what we are here for and how is that managed uh, how are we checking out on that and how are we handling those quite sensitive areas where we might be stepping out of the understanding of our role maybe into somewhere else have we created again look back at the other work we've done in, in the Tupma model have we created a context within which this can be discussed if we have that's fine if not then I think we can expect a bit of a bumpy road here so there needs to be again that confidence of flow that arises with taking quite a a process look about how we move from that idea of forming storming norming into performing and I'm pretty sure there's going to be more questions and answers here but please feel free to get in touch with us always happy to talk to you about the model itself and also you know, any other aspects of work that it impacts on thanks and I hope to talk to you soon in our next presentation and in this one we're going to talk about what the team actually produces which can only be a good thing Thanks and I hope that you can join me soon.